Right, so I want you to read a line, Emma, and then you need to give us a translation of it. <laughs> so one line at a time. Pete. 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 Pete.
Like taps of Chrissy. Like the tops of thistles. Ye powers, what mark mankind your care? Your powers will make mankind your care. And dish them out their bills of fear. And dish them out their meals. O Scotland wants nae skinking wear. O Scotland wants no watery food. That drops in luggies. That splashes in dishes. But if you wish her grateful prayer, but if you wish her grateful prayer, give her a haggis, right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hey. Hey. The haggis. The haggis. Drink me. Now bring out freezers. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great because he doubles up as a salt sailor. Like what you said, salt. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. Right, ladies. Hey! Right. Spawn! Something else. And uh, those otherwise. Say uh, hi! <laughs> 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 hey, fucking winner, man, over here! <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's all done. Right. As we know, it's usually the men that do the toast, but this is our response. Um, and as John O'Reilly once said, he hosted his beer in the air and said, Here to spend the rest of my life between the legs of my wife. One of the top prizes at the pub that night as the best toast of the night. He went home quite avidly, he went to his wife and said, I won the best toast of the night and it was all about you, Mary. I said, here's to spending the rest of my life is sitting in church beside my wife. That's very nice, John. That's awful nice of you. Next day, Mary ran into what John, one of John's drinking buddies. And um, man chuckled leeringly at her and said, A John won the prize the other night at the pub with a toast about you, Mary. Mary says, Oh, I know all about it. I was a bit surprised. You know, he's only been there twice in the last four years. Once he fell asleep, and the other time I had to pull him by the ears to make him come. Boom, <laughs> 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 and so rather than slag the men off, I just prefer to compare them. Because <clears throat> at least we can see if we can put them against something and see exactly what they are like. So, so yeah, gents, men are like laxatives. <laughs> they irritate the shit out of you. <laughs> you. We have our uses. <laughs> men are like bananas. The older they get, the less firm they are. <laughs> I don't want to talk. Men are like Men are like weather. Nothing can be done to change them. Men are like blenders. Well, you, need, it? you need one, but you're not quite sure why. <laughs> well, will it blend? <laughs> <laughs> Men are like chocolate bars. Sweet, smooth, and they usually head right for your hips. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say, Philly? <laughs> <laughs> Men are like commercials. You can't believe the word they say. Men are like department stores. The clothes yeah. are always half off. <laughs> Men are like government bonds. They take so long to mature. <laughs> Men are like mascara. They usually run at the first sign of emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Men are like popcorn. They satisfy you, but only for a little while. They like popcorn. <laughs> I've had my phone, that's all that matters. <laughs> Men are like snowstorms. You never know when they're coming, how many inches you'll get, you don't have or how long they'll last. Yeah, the neighbours know when you're coming. And finally, men are like lava lamps. Fun to look at, but not very bright. To compare the men, I thought it was a bit unfair. So what we'll do is we'll actually give you some real life scenarios, so just to see how exactly wonderfully brilliant I'm sure they think they are. One day, housework challenge husband decided to wash his sweatshirt. Second after he stepped into the laundry room, he shouted, "What setting do I use in the washing machine?" It depends. About the wife replied, "What does it say on your t-shirt?" <laughs> Get back, University of Alberta. 